Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. And our, our teenage daughters out on prom so they can have sex, then get a baby, and then what? Now they got to raise the child by themselves because the man, he too busy making babies with other women. Right. That's why we suffer. We suffer because of sin. Read it again. For we suffer because of our sins. So we suffer because we don't want to listen to what God has to say. Right. It's simple rules. Thou shalt not kill. That's a simple rule. But we don't, we don't even teach it to our kids. <laughs> name Moses, Kurt, what's your name bro? Anton, what about you bro? Tony, sis? Lynette? Jadakiss. Hey, do y'all know what sin is? What is sin? I'm gonna ask you. What's sin? Yeah, what does it mean? What's the definition of sin? Pretty much stuff you shouldn't do. Stuff you shouldn't do. I like that answer. What about you, sis? I was thinking stuff you shouldn't do. What about you, bro? Okay, cool. What about you, Kurt? Breaking God's laws. What about you, Moses? What about you, bro? Anton? Things that are taboo. Okay. Now, all of y'all are right. They hit it on the head. Kurt and Moses. We're going to get it out of the Bible. Read that. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So I'm going to read it again and then we're going to understand it. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. So look, the Bible says, whosoever break rules. That's what it's saying. So if you go to, if you like, sis, you got children, right? You tell your children, do your homework, keep the house clean. That's rules of the household, right? If they break it, that's called a sin. So God gave us rules. He said, hey, look, X, Y, Z, don't do it. If you do do it, I'm going to punish you. Like thou shalt not kill. So sin is what? Sin is, us, is the transgression of the law. The word transgression means to break. Mean you are committing a crime. All right, give me 2 Maccabees 7.32. So sin is breaking God's rules. God gave the 12 tribes of Israel. These people, the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Since you hear that with the umbrella, God gave us rules. He said, keep his rules. And if you break my rules, I'm going to give you a punishment. Check out what he's talking about. All right, so look, let's hear what the Bible got to say. 2 Maccabees chapter 7, verse 32. For we suffer because of our sin. That's what happened right here. Slavery, transatlantic slave trade. 1619. Right. When our brothers, our northern kingdom brothers, the, the Indians and Hispanics, it happened to them in 1492. Bring it up. They suffered because of our sin. You hear me, bro, back there? We suffer because we break God's rules. God says, look, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed is under fire. But what do we do? We got boyfriend, girlfriend, side chicks. We send our, our teenage daughters out on prom so they can have sex, then get a baby. And then what? Now they got to raise the child by themselves because the man, he too busy making babies with other women. Right. That's why we suffer. We suffer because of sin. Read it again. For we suffer because of our sins. So we suffer because we don't want to listen to what God has to say. Right. It's simple rules. Thou shalt not kill. That's a simple rule. But we don't, we don't even teach it to our kids. We think the Bible is a white man's book. Right. A lot of our sisters, you know what? They believe in the white man, but because they go to what? His, 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 his institutions, his college institutions, they believe in that, in that book. Most of our black women is in colleges getting all sorts of degrees. So read it again. 
For we suffer because of our sins. So, bro, what color is God? You don't know? And Tom, what color is God? Black. Black? What's your name back there, bro? Uh, Ron. Ron, what color is God? Black. He's black. He is black. He's a dark-skinned man. We're going to get that. Read that. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Now, we're about to read a description of his son, right? Because if you have children, your children look like you, right? Yep. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Feel your hair. That's woolly texture. Right. Excuse me. Come over here, bro. You too, Anton. Come closer. Because y'all the younger generation. I want to deal with y'all real quick. Because you didn't know that God was black. This is his son. He said his hair and his hair was what? White like wool. So he had white woolly hair. Hey, sis. How you doing, sis? Can I ask you a question? What color is God? Seriously, it's a serious question. What color is God? All right, it's important. Because a lot of our people think the white man is, is God. Right. A lot of our people, that's why we out here killing each other with no problems. How old is you? 16. This 16 year old, how old is you? 15. This 16, 15 year olds out here with guns killing each other because we don't see God in each other. Moses, make sure you give us a call, bro. You understand that? The 16 and 15 year old kids that's out here killing each other right. because they don't see God. You look just like God. Read on. White like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet, his feet. Now look, check this out. Your feet's the same color as your legs, right? Same color as your arms, right? Same color as your face, right? So now it just showed that he had woolly hair, right? Now it's about to show you the color of his feet. Read that. His feet like unto fine brass. Brass. What color is brass? B-R-A-S-S. -S. What color is it? Say it again. Say it in the mic. Brass is brown. Look at your skin tone. Read verse 1. Verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing of Jesus Christ. He has brass skin. Now let's get the Father. Let's get the father. So Christ got woolly hair and his skin tone is brass. Yeah, go ahead. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. And not only was he had brown skin, but it was dark brown. Right. Because when you burn something in the furnace, it gets what? When, when you cook and you let it stay too long, it gets darker, right? Because you burned it. So he had dark skin right. with woolly hair. Right. So Christ which is God's son, look just like you. Bring it out. So now let's get how the father looks. Daniel chapter 7, verse 9. Bring it I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Now the reason why it's saying the ancient of days, because God has no beginning of days, no ending of days. So he's saying the ancient of days did sit. Read on. Whose garment was white as snow. And God has a garment, meaning he has a body. He's not just a spirit. Bring it on. Read on. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. God has woolly hair. Bring it on. Feel your hair, bro. Yeah, Feel your hair. That's woolly texture hair. Right. God has woolly hair. Now give me John 14. 14 and 9, right? John 14 and 9. So we just saw how God looked. And now we see how Christ looked, right? We saw how Christ looked. Read that. John chapter 14, verse 9. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me. So Jesus said, If you seen me, have seen the Father. All right, check this out. So look, a lot of people say that this is Jesus, this white man. We just read that Jesus had woolly hair. He was dark skinned, so dark that he, he, you know, he looked like he burned in the furnace. We read that God got woolly hair. We just read out of the Bible that if you seen me, Jesus said, if you seen me, you have seen the Father. What does that mean? Do you look like your father? That means you look like your father. I got sons. My sons look just like me. Do you look like your father? 
So what does this information mean that you look like God? It means like, say it in the mind. I think it means like, you resemble like the Father, uh, like something like that's when created within the child. So yeah. What about you? What about you? What does that mean that 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 we look like God? What does that mean to you? Children of God. I like that answer. We are the children of God. But that means something. Because the world says that Jesus is a white man. The world says that God is a white man. And we believe it. The, 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 the evidence is because there's a high crime rate in the city of Chicago. So this is the significance of that. Read that. John chapter 10 verse 34. Jesus answered them, is it not written in your law? I said, ye are God. So God says you are God's too. So we can't be killing each other out here, bro. Right. You understand that? What, what grade you in? Uh, I'm going to you going into the 10th grade? You going into the 11th grade? What school y'all go to? You go to Dunbar too? What school? Perspective, that's what? Down the street on, is that on 51st? 36 and uh, Wabash, okay, right over here by the, uh, by, by the project builders over there, right? Okay, okay, understood. So look, so when you go to school, right, there's a lot of fights, right? So if someone picks on you, how do you, how do you respond to that? How do you act towards that? Do you fight back with them? What do you do? Depends on the situation, like what? Tell me. If I'm in a, some type of altercation, my first reaction is to like, talk down or diffuse the situation. Okay. I like that answer, what about you? I either ignore them or like just walk away because it's really it's really a waste of time really because like you shouldn't like really put your energy into people like that. Excellent answers, brothers. Give me some dap, bro. Excellent answers. Give me give me Matthew chapter six. Give me fourteen and fifteen. I love those answers, bro. And the reason why I love those answers is because now y'all know that y'all look like Jesus. Now y'all know that y'all look like God. So now what you could do is you could be an example and teach the brothers at your school at Perspective and at Dunbar. You could share the same thing to them. Hey man, we gods. I could show you in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Now it's more believable. It's more believable because you're not acting like niggas. You acting like a god now. What is a nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.